Welcome back to our channel. So in the today's session, let us see a few more competitive exam questions on C programming. So here is the problem, a simple problem and there are the options given. So we have to find the solution, we have to find the output. So here one variable is declared and initialized to 4. It is passed as a parameter to the one function called a change and we are printing the value of that particular variable. And coming to the function definition, we are printing the incremented value of the past parameter. Right? Now let us see the explanation. See first, in the main function, in the change function. So here a is equal to 4 and the 4 is passed as an argument to the function definition right so in the function definition change function here is equal to a is equal to 4 now printf plus plus a here plus plus a, a is a pre-increment pre-increment means first we have to increment the value and that value will be used next so here it is a pre-increment the 5 will be printed here so first 5 will be printed and whenever the control reaches here the control goes back to its original position and here printf percentage d a here don't get confused here this a is different from this a because these two are the local variables the scope of this variable will be within the main function and the scope of this variable will be within the main function and by default this is a call by value so whatever the changes we are doing on the uh, formal parameters will not affect on the actual parameters so here while printing the a value the a value in the main function is 4 itself so 4 will be printed here so this is the output so generally most of the people will get confused and they will go for this option 5 and 5 but these are the local variables which are having the scope within the block and the passing parameter passing technique is a call by value where the formal parameters whatever the changes done on the formal parameters will not affect on the actual parameters here in the main function we are printing the actual parameter so whatever the uh, modification done on formal parameters will not affect on this variable so 4 will be printed as it is here 5 will be printed so the option is 5 and 4 so hope you understood this one right we will see the one more question so here just a conditional statements we have written so a is equal to 0 printf a is 0 else a is not 0 so generally see here if a is equal to 0 one thing we have to remember is this is not a relational operator right it is not a relational operator it is a assignment operator so we have to check carefully assignment operator right so in the condition we have to use the relational operator but here we are using the assignment operator that means the a value is 0 so this statement is if a is equal to 0 that means if the a 0 is assigned to a and it will be represented in the place of condition so if 0 so and so else so and so now as we know that in c language 0 represents false 1 represents true so here a is equal to 0 means assigned the value of 0 is assigned to a so if 0 it is the false condition right so automatically the false block will be executed so else condition will be executed so this will be the answer a is not 0 so hope you understood this is not a relational operator relational operator means double is equal to right so if it, if it is double is equal to then we have to specify the a value so in our program 
a value is not specified and we are assigning 0 to a so that the value of condition is 0 so 0 represents a false so the false block will be executed right so this will be executed so this is the answer for this question so we have to take care whether the condition i mean whether the condition inside the if is having the relational operators or the assignment operator right so hope you understood the second one let us move on to the next right let us see the third question so which is similar to our second one so here also if a is equal to 7 print a is 7 else print a is not 7 obviously the answer will be this one no this is not the answer see here a is equal to 7 so here also it is not a relational operator it is a assignment operator right as we have said that so the condition will be if a is equal to 7 that means 7 is assigned to a so if 7 if 7 so this is the non zero value non zero value so whatever the value which is not equal to zero that will be considered as a true right so if it is a zero it is considered as a false and every non zero value in our c program will consider as a true so this block is true so this will be printed that means a is 7 will be printed hope you understood this one so here we are using the assignment operator and 7 is a non zero value so this condition is true so it will be executed and the true block will be executed this else else block will be ignored so hope you understood this one a simple thing the third question right let us see the next question so printf a single line statement printf percentage d so percentage d means it will return an integer value so it is a access specifier of integer value so it should return an integer value and in the place of variable we are writing one more printf statement okay. here we have to remember that printf will return an integer so a is equal to printf hello will return an integer value to the a so what is this integer value the number of characters the number of characters so in this hello is a word so five characters five characters will be assigned to a and as usual this is a printf statement it will display hello right so printf statement will return an integer value so if you assign any variable to this printf automatically that number of characters involved in the printf will be the uh, assigned value to the particular variable so here also the same thing so printf percentage d print hello so as it is a print hello first hello will be displayed and this is the percentage d so it will return the number of characters so how many number of characters five so five will be the answer so this is the answer for this question so printf will return an integer value and printf as usual it is used to display the text on the screen so first the text will be displayed and next the integer value that means number of characters will be displayed so this will be the right answer right so hope you understood these uh, simple questions so let us wind up here and if you are having any doubts regarding the c programming feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions share, share my sessions with your friends like my sessions and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much